Hi, I'm Rob. Hi, I'm Sherry. And this is our cat, Lily. This is Cinder. We've got the truck. We've got the trailer. And we're ready for our RV travel class. Hi guys, this is Rob. I have a mystery for you. If some of you have been following our Facebook and some of our other sites, you uh, realize that we've been having trouble with our refrigerator. Behind me there is a, you can see my refrigerator. And last week, it just stopped working. So I got on the internet and I started studying the different things. So I'll put a fan behind it, uh, disconnect the thermostat, a um, few things like that. So I went through all those maneuvers. Nothing. The thing is so dead, it's like dead. I mean, we're like 50 degrees, the whole works. So we decided to go ahead and take a ride up to Camping World, make an appointment and for our RV because it is under warranty, which is a real pain in the rear because we're still working. So that means that we have to take the rig 50 miles away from where we work, spend the night, let them do a diagnostic. Lord knows what's going to happen after that, whether I need parts or whatever, and then we'd probably have to come back down to our place where we're at and then go back up three or four weeks later when the parts come in and then go through that whole rigmarole. So that's what we have all set up, ready to go. So I thought I'd show you real quick our uh, little refrigerator that we bought. So we thought we'd buy just a little 2.7 cubic foot refrigerator. And um, some of you guys have seen our pictures before in the, in the RV. We have in our living room, uh, let me show you here. In our living room here, you can see, sorry, that we put a little refrigerator in the corner where we used to keep the litter box. And the litter box is behind the chair now. But So we have at least something to put milk in and things like that. So at least we'll survive. Now this has been going on for a couple of days now. So today I just got home from work. And we shut the refrigerator off. Just, it was just no reason to keep it on. So I get home and I get ready. I thought, well, I'm going to fire this thing up and see if it works. Well, it turns out Sherry thought about the same thing I did. So I uh, went to go turn it on and saw it was already on. So I go, oh, crap, wow. So I opened up the doors and I'm going, wow, it's cold in here. So let me show you what I found out. So the first thing I want to tell you about is I bought a new uh, temperature gun so I could easily do measurements instead of trying to use a thermostat. So here's the refrigerator right here. So I thought you and I could go take a look at this refrigerator and see what it reads. So I opened it up, I hit the numbers, and what do you see there guys? I see minus 6 degrees. So I thought, okay, maybe the other side's messed up. So I go over here, push the button, and I got four degrees. Okay. Well, I thought I'd go down to the lower section. Measure that. And I'm showing 33 degrees, which is pretty normal for a regular refrigerator. So guys, riddle me this. Why is my refrigerator working again? <laughs> so... I still don't trust it, so I'm going to wait a few days and see what happens. And maybe you guys can tell me what you think happened, because right now, I mean, it's only been a short time, but it looks normal. And so we've been going through this. We've had it off and on. We've switched from electric to LP. We've put a fan in the back, which is still back there, but we had it before. Uh, I don't know. So, in the comments, <laughs> feel free to give me some feedback. Anyway, that's today's mystery on RV Travel Quest. Have a great day. Bye now.